YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at what our next full send investment is going to be on FC24. We're also gonna be looking at when is the team of the season promo starting, and we'll be looking at promo leaks for Golasso Team 2 and expected content in the next couple of days. But before we get into all that, we gotta talk about content today on Thursday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was pretty basic. Thursday is usually just marquee matchups, and that is pretty much it. We did get a player SBC with Callum Hudson Adoy. We'll take a peek at that first. Uh, cool playstyle pluses, quick step playstyle plus, finesse shot playstyle plus, five star skills, four star weak foot. Not a card that I think a lot of people are going to be going out and doing, but it's fun if maybe you support Nottingham Forest or you're Callum Hudson Adoy fan, maybe a Chelsea past and present. Um, he costs just over 200,000 coins. It is three squads to complete him. Uh, it's, it's overpriced, I think. I mean, I just think of him, I'm kind of comparing price-wise to Reese James, and it's like, mm, this card should be nowhere near the same price as that Reese James SBC. Uh, so that was the player SBC of the day, and then the challenge, marquee matchups. They required teams, actually required team requirements this week. I want to look at a couple things. At content drop, I said, hey, maybe Liverpool or Manchester United center attacking mid, maybe they go up. I haven't been watching marquee matchups so i don't know if players move anymore we're gonna find out right now and center attacking mid do they move at all anymore um little bit little bit they were probably higher earlier as well if you think about it i mean it's been it's been hours since content dropped so maybe they were up more i think they were like 450 500 at content so it's up a tiny bit um it's just marquee matchups has been pretty dull lately i used to do a lot of trading with marquee matchups but i haven't done it much lately mason mount okay mount was like 500 600 coins so it, it, there's little movements on marquee matchups if you're quick with it at content drop but doesn't seem like it's anything insane and then the other one i want to just check this one out scotland this was the first squad it was scotland you needed a silver squad did they do good? No. Okay, so that was marquee matchups. David Beckham SBC is back. And then Rival Rewards was today. I told you guys, Rival Rewards uh, can affect the market quite a bit because we now know Rival Rewards, It's they're really good. The rewards are really solid. And uh, we saw the first week when these Rival Rewards came out, how much it affects the market. And then the second week, last week, it, we didn't see it affect the market that much. And that may have been because people were kind of expecting it. And then this week, again, it really affected the market and stuff came down. If we go and take a peek on Footbin, a lot of cards, guys, a lot of cards came down in price. Let's go look at squads, Golasso. And, and I, I tell you guys, you know, hey, you don't want to hold tradable players in your team, especially ones that are in packs uh, as we approach team of the season, but also going into Thursday. I never want to hold a promo card going into Thursday. It's not something I want to do with rival rewards. If you held any of these cards, uh, No Bueno, Ginola down a lot, Cruyff down, Colaire, Okocha. Let's just see how much some of these cards are down. Okocha was 100k. Dropped all the way down. He's like 80,000 coins now. So big movements. It's just not smart holding cards into rival rewards. We know rival rewards is really good now. Um, and the same thing with these promo cards. Having any of them, keeping any of them. We knew the market was going to drop. Same thing goes for fodder. I told you guys, you do not want to hold your fodder into Thursday. Don't do it. Have your fodder sold on Wednesday. And it's all down in price. The 85s were 4,000 coins. You can see they were up here at around 4K, dropped all the way down to almost 3K. Slight, slight bounce back after content drop. 86s were 7K. These are very low right now. Very, very low. Look, they were 7,000 coins and boom, down a lot. So fodder is down. High fodder as well. It's not even just the low fodder. The high fodder is down. These 87s were 11,000 coins. I told you guys, hey, Wednesday, Icon refreshes. It's going to give you another chance to get out of your high-rated fodder. And as you can see, chest and try workout tonight. By the way, I just got a notification for that uh, Chelsea game. Holy crap. Chelsea versus Manchester United. If you guys did not watch that game, I highly, highly, highly recommend you go into YouTube, watch Chelsea versus Manchester United. What a game. Watch it. It was incredible. Great for my 
uh, Fantasy Premier League as well. My team is cooking. But you can see here, they were 11K. I told you, it's, you know, it's your chance to get out again. And boom, down in price. So uh, fodder's down. Rival rewards affected the market quite a bit. A lot of cards are down in price. A lot of people losing coins this week. And when you see that, it, it makes me feel a lot better about how we did. Because I was saying, guys, it's a pretty bland week. Um market seems to just be going down we did have one point where we thought it would rebound because of the hero compensation but in general we've just stopped market going down as we approach team this season and it just keeps dropping so people keep losing coins if they have tradable players um and fodder we weren't making that much profit we were profiting like we bought these 85s for close to 3k they went to 4k 86s i think 6k went to 7k it wasn't crazy profit but it was profit Profit is better than losing coins. So uh, it makes me a bit happier about the week that we did have. And uh, yeah, that was kind of the update on, on the market today. The SBCs, how the market was. It's just down. I do want to say the low. Uh, if you ever do want to do flips for rival rewards, the low does seem to be before um, rival rewards. Like not rival rewards sorry the low seems to be before content drop so we have rival rewards on thursday and then before content drop on thursday seems to be the low point you can see right here and then a bit of a rebound we can see that on some of the golasso cards as well like the okocha was down at 78 and then he rebounded to like 83 after content if you are looking to do any flip, oh, we rebounded to 86.5 actually after content. So if you are looking to do any flips on these kind of cards on Thursdays, just know the low is probably before content drop on Thursday. And that was the same thing in the first week as well. The first week of the new rival rewards, which was two weeks ago, uh, the low was before content drop on Thursday. So expect that again um, if you are looking for flips next week on Thursday with rival rewards. Um now, before we get into our investments, we don't have any at the moment. I do want to say I've been slowly selling my fantasy cards. I said I need to start selling these. I want them sold Tuesday, Wednesday, gone. I'm too lazy. I don't care. I, I think I decided against selling my coins. I'm just going to use my coins for content during team of the season to open packs forever and do like a pack challenge. So I, I have not cared to sell my cards. They're down even more. They were like 28, 29K on, I think, Tuesday. And now they're 25K. High fodder is so ridiculously low at the moment. It's actually insane. And um, I'm still making profit, like a lot, because I bought these past gurus for 16K, but it's just, it sucks. Um, and I'm still selling. Uh, I will say tomorrow on Friday, they might go up a little bit more because we are possibly getting a Cantona SBC tomorrow on Friday, so that could help this higher rated fodder. So maybe I hold off a little bit, sell a bit more tomorrow on Friday. But uh, yeah, these fantasy cards, pain in the butt, I am selling them. But other than that, we don't have any investments. The fodder all should have been sold. Now, like I said, before we get into this next investment, we need to talk about what is the next promo. I think the next promo is team of the season. Obviously, we're getting the Golasso promo on Friday, tomorrow, Golasso team two. Um, but on Foot Sheriff's TikTok, this is what we got. What's coming after the Golasso promo? He replied saying team of the season. Um, this is a, it's not in English. This is one of my mods that sent me this screenshot. Shout out to Dylan. Uh, we shouted out Dylan in the previous video. He's the one that's been helping me watching my previous YouTube videos to figure out how the market moves with team of the season. So if team of the season is the next promo after this Golasso promo, that means likely we have a week of golasso and then i'd say a week of like team of the season warm-up and if it is similar to last year let me pull it up if it's similar to last year on fifa 23 uh there was no promo team before team of the season i think it was just team of the season warm-up there was really nothing not a lot of packs being opened a lot of sbcs and because of that what does good fodder if we head over to footbin right now and look on fifa 23 fodder before team of the season if we look up like any fodder any of them before team of the season we're at a very low point right now a very 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 low point at the moment let's look at last year what happened so just to give you a heads up the end of april is when team of the season started so right around here is when it started i think it's this friday it might be friday april 28th is when team of the season started so i would assume around here is team of the season warm-up if i'm correct something like that so if we look it's kind of hard to see the way the graphs are but you can see that 
Trent Alexander-Arnold, 87 overall card, 19K, 18, 19K around there. Went from that to right before team of the season, 26, almost 27,000 coins. So from 18, 19K to 26, 27,000 coins. Okay, let's look at an 88 overall card. Let's look at Luka Modric. We can do this with, we, we did this on stream today. I just kind of want to show you guys. Luka Modric, let's take a peek going into, where are we at? All right, here we are. So going into team of the season, we have Modric, 88 overall card around 27,000 coins. And then right before team of the season starts, he goes all the way up to 38,000 coins, over 38K. Another big increase on fodder right before team of the season. Now, again, let's look at an 86 overall card, Parejo. I'm just going to go through all the fodder ratings so you guys can see how they all moved. And it's they all did good, pretty much all of them. If you look here, 86 Parejo was down at 14,000 coins right before team of the season started about April 23rd, 19,000 coins. So 14K to 19, almost 20,000 coins, almost. So another increase right there. If we pull up, is this an 85 Declan Rice? No, 84. Ah, we can do 84. Who's an 85? Summer, summer. Okay, let's remember summer for the 85 overall card. And boom, here we go right before team of the season we have 3200 coins and goes all the way up to 5000 so from about 3 close to 3k up to almost 5000 coins right before team of the season and then if we look at an 85 overall card we have summer and I'll do the Bayern one and if we take a peek here we can see that he was down 86 overall card no 85 85 overall card, 8,500 coins, and goes all the way up to almost 14,000 coins, basically 14,000 coins. So 8K to 8.5 to 14K, another really good increase. So if you can see the pattern, all fodder before team of the season did really good. And it's basically, a big thing about it is you're getting team of the season warm up. You're going to be getting SBCs before team of the season. Not a lot of people opening packs. If it is a team of the season warm up type promo, I would expect not a lot of packs to be opened as people are saving their packs for team of the season with not a lot of packs being opened, not as much supply on fodder, but there's still the demand for SBCs to be crafted before team of the season because people want packs for team of the season. So as you can see, we looked at basically every single fodder rating. 83s went insane. 83s went absolutely insane, but I'm not going to look at those because 83s this year, it's different. I mean, I'd rather just buy 84s, but basically fodder is what i'm saying now do you want to buy fodder now or do you want to buy fodder maybe like next week on thursday that's your choice to make um i don't know if the low is going to be now or if the low is going to be potentially next week on thursday personally i think you could just start buying now and, and holding and, and waiting for the fodder to rise it's very low at the moment, fodder is extremely, oops, clicked the wrong one. Oh, there we go. Fodder is very low at the moment. So I think if you start to buy now, it's fine. If it goes down over this weekend and it's cheaper next Thursday, I wouldn't freak out that much. I think you could just hold and wait. But uh, Golasso Team 2, it, it's it's the second week of a promo. Second week of a promo, you don't see as much fodder being, uh, as much packs being open because the second week, not as much excitement. And because of that, maybe we could see this fodder start to creep up a little bit, especially if we could get some decent SBCs. But uh, fodder prices, let's go over it. I'll put on the screen the prices that I like, and boom. That's what we have. You can get lower. You can 100% get lower than some of these prices that I have listed. But 84s, you guys know, these are zero risk at 1,100 coins. It's zero risk. Zero risk. The next one, 85s. As close to 3K as possible, it's really easy. Um, yeah, simple as that. As close to 3K as possible. 86s are stupid low, below 6K right now. They're about 5,500 coins. If you can get for five, below 5,500, I mean, that's that's a really good price. A really good price on 86s. Let's see. I mean, we, we've, we've talked about this previously. When, it, when was the last time? Let's pick a fodder 86. When was the last time these 86 overall cards have been this cheap? The last time we've seen 86 is at 5,500 coins was at the start of the game. That, that's how cheap we are seeing fodder at the moment. It's so low. 87s below 9K is crazy. They were like 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.
88.688 earlier, so they're back up a little bit. 88s below 14k, as close to 13k as possible, is solid. These 89s at below 20k is just mind blowing. Fodder's crazy low. Uh, it's 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 very low. Is basically all I'm saying. I like the 88s and below. The high rated fodder could do good, like 89 plus, but I'd prefer to go for the lower rated fodder, like 88. I mean, you can do 88s, but I'd prefer 87s or less, to be honest. Um, I prefer those because they'll fit multiple type of gamble SBCs. Like if we get an icon SBC, more likely we'll see more 87s required. Hero SBC, more likely we see 87s required than 88s. It's just more likelihood of that fodder rating getting required with the 87s, the 86s, the 85s, the 84s. For the high, high rated fodder to rise, you're really going to need some like crazy big player SBC to come out for them to go up in price. But for the lower rated fodder, we could get an 84 times 10, an 85 times 5, something like that that could require the lower rated fodder. That could make them do good. But the higher rated, you need like a player SBC. So I think 84 to 87, even 88s is the range I'd be looking at mainly. And it's it's really good. If you want to start buying them, try to get some deals on bid. I like it. And, and that's basically it. Now, you got to understand if you're buying this fodder, when are you holding until? Um, I'll pull up the calendar right now. I'll just... You're going to have to listen to me and just understand. So April 5th is tomorrow on Friday. April 5th, tomorrow, Friday. We have a week of Golasso Team 2. April 12th is when we could see Team of the Season warm up. And then April 19th is when we would see Team of the Season community Team of the Season start. An actual Team of the Season begins. So if it's like that, um, we would potentially be selling our fodder anytime between April 12th and probably like April 17th. That's what I would say. More like April 15th to April 17th would be the sell time on your fodder. So it's it's a hold, just letting you know, but that's probably going to be our next big investment because a lot of these cards, if we're, if we're trying to do any flips, you can obviously be trading. You can trade, you can, you can do the 10, 20, 30 method I showed you guys, any of the, the bidding filters I showed you in the previous videos. Um, you can do that, but flips, I mean, I don't really want to mess with these cards too much because you can see it's just, it's just down. It's down, it's down, it's down, it's down. There's little rebounds here or there where you can try to get flips, but it's, it is risky. Let's pull up Ginola. It's just, it's, it's risky is all I'm saying. We had Ginola go from five, seven, all the way up to seven, two, but then it's just, it's down a little bit of a rebound and then down, down, down. It's just, the market's going down and I don't want to be, when I know it's a downward market, I don't want to be gambling on cards where I could maybe get a quick flip and make coins, but I could also just see the card keep going down. I'd rather go the safe route, stick with the fodder when I know, hey, team of the season is coming up soon. We should potentially see some of this fodder do good before team of the season starts. And it's as simple as that. Um... Anything else with team of the season? I mean, I, I think that's it. It could, I, I do want to mention the dates, by the way, April 15th to April 21st. I won't be, I'll be here April 15th, April, that's the day I leave, but I leave at night. I'm going to LA for a little bit, little vacation with Brooke. I'll be in California for a week. I'll be back on the 22nd. I'll be streaming again on the 22nd. Um, I will be filming videos while I'm in LA. I might even stream, um, but back to the dates. Tomorrow, April 5th, is Golasso Team 2. I do want to say we could get a week of no promo. There's a chance, but I don't think that would happen. I'd, I'd be shocked if we get a week of no promo. We Have we even had that on FC24? I don't even know. Previous FIFAs, that's a normal thing to have just no promo. But this this game, it's it doesn't happen. It's a promo every single week. So I would assume if that foot sheriff comment on TikTok, if, if it's legit, I would assume... April 12th, team of the season warm-up. April 19th, community team of the season. And then April 26th is probably when we get Premier League team of the season. What is this notification? I keep looking at all these Twitter not notifications just in case it's some sort of leak for team of the season, but nothing. Okay, uh, expected content. That's our investment uh, situation. I do want to say as well with team of the season, guys, um, buying players that get team of the season cards, it's it's a gold mine. It's an absolute gold mine. So our investment plan for the next like month is pretty pretty straightforward. It's buying this fodder and then whatever team of the season is next, buy the players that you think are going to get a team of the season card. Varon got a team of the season for Premier League last year, went from like 3,500 coins to 8,500 coins, his gold card. Gold Rashford, I think, went nuts. Buying the gold players of, of 
cards that are going to be getting a team this season, the good ones. Like, don't buy a fodder random card. Buy the good players. You can make a ton of coins. So just giving you guys that information. Our investment plan for... That's basically our investment plan for the next almost two months because that's the same thing we're going to do every single week with the next team of the season coming out, buying the cards going out of packs. Uh, now, leaks. What do we got? Golasso Team 2. Almost everything is leaked, I think. We have Cool coming as a Golasso Hero. Essien is coming as a Golasso Icon. Uh, here's a picture of a bunch of the players. Puskas, Carlos, Drogba, Kaká, Lineker, Jairzinho, Viali, Cantona. Uh, Cantona is the SBC, by the way, that we talked about. That's why I think selling some of that fodder could be a little bit better tomorrow. The fantasy ones. There's the Cool... Cantona SBC, Onder is coming as a road to the final SBC. That's a bit random, but okay. Uh, there's the drug buff. Park Ji Sung, that'll be sick. I love his card. I have his evolution, and it's one of my favorite cards that I had this year. Keen is coming as a card. There's the Lineker. Anything else? Lineker, Lampard. I think that is it. We saw all these leaks in the previous video. That should be it. Another notification. What is it? Oh, that's an email. All right. So that's it for this video team of the season soon potentially um if you guys have any questions comment section down below my trading discord my twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace